So uh, when you're out here on the road and you get loaded, it's always good to make sure that your weight is distributed properly among your axles. So whenever you uh, get loaded, you wanna check the weight on your bill of lading paperwork that you get. And if it is ever uh, 30,000 pounds or higher, you wanna get it checked out. Now some uh, places you go to have a scale on premise, a lot of places don't. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to a truck stop that has what's called a CAT scale. Now these CAT scales have been certified by DOT. If you go over the scale, it'll give you the appropriate weight. If you happen to go over the scale, your weight is good, and you go to a DOT scale uh, on the highways and you get a ticket, um, they will take care of it for you because their scales are certified, you know, however so often. So, see if I can hide some of this. I don't want everything shown. So, as you can see right here, my weight is uh, 31,050 pounds. So, we want to get this uh, weight properly adjusted on my axles. So what I did was is I found a Exxon, uh, which happens to have a certified scale here. And we're going to uh, go over this and get it checked out. Figured I would do a video to show you the process and how we do it. So as always, there's gonna be an entrance and an exit. Uh, this truck beeps all the time. So you go over the scale here. You wanna get yourself lined up on the scale. Now there'll be a little call box over here on the side. You hit the button, it'll ask you first way or reway. Uh, if it's the first time going over, obviously say first way, get off the scale and then go inside and they will give you the paperwork. Make sure that you check your mirrors, that your wheels are all the way over in the area and that you are not too far up front. Depends on how busy they are inside, how long first it takes. First way or reway? It'll be first way. Truck number? Truck number 94514. Nine, no, truck number 94514. Away, thank you. Thank you. All right, so as the sign said, it is a certified guaranteed weight. So we have gotten weighed. We are going to move off of the scale and park somewhere and go inside and get the uh, scale ticket. Now, if I remember correctly, um, it costs $15 uh, to get scaled. My company pays for it. Uh, one scale per trip. Now, if you uh, have to go get reweighed, then I believe the reway is like two dollars. And as far as I know, um, with my company, the company card won't work. You won't be able to charge it twice. So, if you do have to go get reweighed, uh, just uh, you know, pay for it, keep the receipt, and then turn it in when you turn your paperwork in, and uh, you will get reimbursed for that two dollars. Most of the time, I don't even really mess with it because it's only $2, but uh, $2 obviously uh, can add up. So I'm gonna go over here and park my trailer 
semi-straight. coming because you never know about truck stops people drive stupid they don't pay attention all right that should be good all right then we're gonna walk inside here and get this taken care of this may be a long video, but uh, we'll get this done. If, if you go to a um, truck stop like a Loves or a Flying J or Pilot, uh, you can use your card, your uh, rewards card, and you uh, do get points for it. This one is a mom and pops uh, location. It's not a one of the major ones. They're actually in the area that I'm in. There aren't any uh, major uh, truck stops around here. So I uh, have to use this one. I don't want to take a chance going over a DOT scale along the highway and then me be too, uh, too overweight. So when I um, got loaded, or when I got unloaded off of my first weight, or my first uh, stop this morning, um, I had to slide my tandems all the way back. When I pulled out, I went ahead and slid the tandems forward a little bit to make it easier to go around turns. So my tandems are just kind of like in the middle and so i'm gonna go in here get the slip we're gonna figure out what the weight is and then it'll uh, determine where i need to uh, slide my tandems now there are two types of uh trailers that i've noticed they have the ones that have i believe four inch holes and then they have one that's like six inch holes so most of our trailers are going to be the smaller ones and with those every hole that you have uh, is basically how far you can maneuver it to get into weight so if you have I'm trying to remember so i tell you guys the right thing uh, if you have i'm sorry yeah four inches so if you have the four inch spacing uh, in between each hole, that's going to be 250 pounds per hole. If your trailer has the six inch spacing in between holes, each hole is going to basically be about 500 pounds. So that helps you uh, determine where you need to uh, slide your tandems to uh, be in the proper weight so that you don't um, get in trouble and uh, get a possible ticket um, from DOT. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to show you where my tandems are slid now. get the weight ticket and then we'll be able to figure out where I need to move them afterwards depending on what my weight is. So as you can see I just threw them in here. Each one of these has holes. Uh, there's the stopper you see right there so I can't go with those last four holes so it starts here. So I've got the, the holes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my tandem is in the ninth hole as of right now. So we'll go inside here and see uh, what my weight is. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. I am in Mississippi, by the way. Temperature is 78 degrees. Hope everybody had an outstanding Easter. I was stuck on the road driving. Good week though, the last uh, eight days I've driven uh, just about 4,000 miles, so I'm definitely uh, doing okay and getting my miles uh, with this company. Now of course it's gonna have its problems and issues, but overall it's uh, so far, I guess it's not too bad. Just hate having to sit and wait sometimes like I have to. Right, let's go in here and check it out.
it's lunchtime. I have a scale ticket. I don't know where I need to go. A, a scale ticket? Uh, truck number 94514. Total transportation. Trailer number 910391. It's a corporate card. Oh, go over there. No, but you you need to drop dimes at quarters. Well, dimes already been dropped. What information do you need? Uh, what's your mileage? Uh, do seven six one five seven. Truck nine four five one four. Driver ID six two five three seven seven. Truck three seven eight zero two. One four. Apparently the modem is not connected, so it's not sending it out. So what does that mean? Uh, I have to either I've got to call in your car, call me an operation for it manually. Wow. Okay. So can I see your card? So I can have to, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's it, right? Correct. 
Will this work as a MasterCard, do you know? Like a regular debit? That There's two sides of it. There's a corporate side, and then there's the side that I get paid on. So if you do that, it'll take it out of my side. Okay. It needs to be run on the, on the corporate side. All right. So. If it's going to take too long, just, you can run it on the other side and just give me a receipt, and then I'll just turn it in the so company. how long it will take. Yeah, I, I'm, on, I'm on a time frame, so yeah, whatever so, is the quickest way. Come right over. Sorry about that, sir. That's not your fault. Technology happens. Good? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. All righty, so come to some of these uh, mom and pop places and their systems aren't as quick as others, but so the corporate card uh, didn't work with that system. They went ahead and just ran it on the other side. So I got my receipts and I will turn that in so I can get reimbursed. Now the mom and pops generally are a little bit cheaper. This one was only $11.50. Like I said, when you go to some of the other ones like Flying J Pilot, or loves, uh, it's about 15 bucks to get it checked. All right, back in the truck. So got my receipt, 1150. I will turn this in with my paperwork and get reimbursed back for that. This is what the cat scale uh, paper looks like. You need to make sure that they sign it. It has to be signed or it's not valid and uh, you can't get in trouble. So it says right here, the scat, scale comp the, scat scale the cat scale company guarantees that all of our scale scales will give an accurate weight. What makes us different from other scale companies is that we back up the gar our guarantee with cash. So here it goes. If you get an overweight fine from the state after one of our cat scales showed a legal weight, we will immediately check our scale and we will one, reimburse you for the cost of the overweight fine if our scale is wrong or a representative of the scat scale company will appear in court with the driver as an expert witness if we believe our scales was correct. So it tells you what to do. If you get an overweight fine, do the following send it over here blah 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 so this is where we're at and this may cause a little bit of an issue so some of these places like to load you up fully and if they don't have a scale on their property they have a formula and it just kind of throws it on there and tells you uh, or gives you like a guesstimation of where you need to be at for your weight. So here you need to be uh, the steer axle where it says 10,760. That uh, can't be any more than 12,000 pounds. So we are good there. 10,760. On our drive axle, which would be the axles where the kingpin and fifth wheel is connected, that cannot be 34,000 pounds. So we're 25 to 20, so we're good there. The trailer axle, which is the tandems all the way in the back, again, 34,000 pounds, so we are under, we are 26,600, so we are good there. The gross overall weight is only 63,000 pounds. We are underneath 80,000 pounds, so we are good to go there. So, Get a pretty good guesstimation as far as where my scale or where my tandems needed to be and the hole to make sure that I was good to go on my scale. So that is how uh, you scale. 
uh, pretty easy. Uh, something that everybody should do if your weight is 30,000 pounds or above, just to make sure that when they loaded the back of your trailer, it wasn't too far towards the back, uh, in the, or the front I mean, or too far in the back. So there you go, how to use a CAT scale. Thank you very much for checking out my videos. If you haven't done so yet, please like, share, ring the bell, you'll get notified when I do new videos. And until next time, uh, Trucker J is out.